166 kilometers on stage 19 from Abiette Grasso to Alpe di Mera and a shortish, very steep summit finish on stage 19, the penultimate mountain day as the race hit the Alps. Six men up the roads being held on a tight leash by Bike Exchange and De Koenig Quickstep. Problems for Gianluca Brambilla from Trek Segafredo. And on the final climb, Mark Christian left the breakaway as it was nearly caught by De Koenig Quickstep, trying to set things up for Jao Almeida, who attacked a long way out, almost seven kilometers from the top of the climb. No reaction from the Maglia Rosa. No reaction either when Simon Yates went shortly afterwards with six and a half kilometers of the climb remaining. Teasing out a group who tracked across to join Joao Almeida. Then Simon Yates dropped that group and was never seen again. Danny Martinez did what he could for Egan Bernal, which was substantial as they just limited their losses, the Ineos Grenadiers. And then in the final few kilometers, Egan Bernal had to ride for himself. Damiano Caruso under pressure from Simon Yates, who was closing in on his second place in the general classification on the road. Jao Almeida then dropped Egan Bernal in hunt of a stage victory, but pulling up a little bit short, and Simon Yates crossed the line in first place. A first win at the Giro this year for Simon Yates, four in his career. And Bike Exchange leaving it late, but coming with a charge. Jao Almeida, like two days ago, had to settle for second place, but more to come, you think, from the Portuguese rider on stage 20. And Egan Bernal, this time feeling much better, limiting his losses and crossing the road, still the line, still with a handsome lead in the general classification. Damiano Caruso and a much better Alexander Vlasov, but Simon Yates uh, rising to the top faster than all of them. Dan Martin, once again a good performance from him, and Danny Martinez, despite having worked for Egan Bernal, battling on to finish in the top ten. Simon Yates, the winner, though, of stage 19, and still not quite giving up on the Maglia Rosa. Whatever happens in the next two days, you will not leave the Giro empty-handed. You must be satisfied. No, really happy. Uh, the team did a fantastic job today. Really controlled the start, worked a lot, and I managed to finish it off, so really happy. When you attacked with uh, 6.5k to go, was it uh, planned or was it because uh, Almeida was uh, starting to attack? Um, I saw the boys from uh, from Ineos. They were they were happy just to ride a tempo behind, um, and I had a feeling that they would let me go today. Um, I read something about from Egan in the on Twitter or whatever um, about how they would be more conservative and try to control rather than uh, try to go with me. So. I had a feeling that they would let me go, and uh, as soon as I attacked, yeah, I saw that was correct, so uh, I just tried to ride full gas, and that was it. What's next? Maria Rosa, second place, <laughs> happy you still? Uh, look, I, I tried to do my best today. Um, it was not the most difficult of stages, a very difficult final climb, and uh, tomorrow is very different, a uh, very hard stage, um, back in the high altitude. Um, so we'll see what I can do, but uh, I'm just doing my best at the moment and uh, happy with the stage win. Congratulations. Thank you.